Okay, so this guy comes into my seminar and he starts doing this thing where he quits waiting on it and he just starts really pouring himself into his community for nothing. He's not trying to sell cars. He's going to events and funerals and community things that he likes doing, right? That he naturally loves to do in this place called his family, mm -hmm. which is all the people attached to him within his community, with all the people attached to him because we like a certain type of food, or we went to this elementary school, or we went to this college, or because you know we're part of this church, or we're because of this culture. <laughs> so we have this tribe, and all I'm doing is say, go love them, go to the restaurants, go hang out. Don't try to sell anything. Don't even tell them what you do for a living. They're going to screw up and ask you. And then when they ask you, you say, I protect my friends from ridiculous real estate people. What do you do? I make sure that none of my friends ever get taken advantage of again. I had a friend. And come up with, find an old story. I had a friend. Listen to this story. I had a friend. She went through this. Single mom. Some guy sold her a house, creates a demon, sold her a house. Should not have sold her that house. It was not the right house for her. But she needed to trust somebody. And she trusted an enemy. And I will never let any of my friends or my friend's friends take advantage of another person that's in my life. Now, is that a compelling story? Yes. yes. Is it true, Keita? Yes. You'd do that for somebody, wouldn't you? Absolutely. And you'd step into your protector role, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it wouldn't be for you, huh, Tara? It would be to, for them, right? Right. Right. And naturally, that works better for both of you, right? You'll do more for somebody else than you'll do for yourself, which has been your hang-up. You think mm -hmm. you're doing this job for you, and that's not a, that's a lie. I thought I was doing the car business for me until I saw my dad and my uncle Jerry, where if you went into their drugstore and you couldn't afford the medicine, the medicine was free. Mm. That's who you're doing the business for. Now, how much easier is it to talk to people, Keita? Very. How much easier is it to, for, to connect with people, Tara? Much easier. Knowing that you don't have to do something for you. Right. But you have to listen for them. Mm -hmm. And you're going to talk to a thousand of your friends and none of them are going to be interested in a car until, I mean, in, in a house until one of them is. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, who's the best person to help them? The person they trust or the person they need to learn to trust? The person they trust.